last night, Aaron, my girlfriend, and I, and six others, <clears throat> three other couples, went out to support two local bands, Tijuana Jesus and the New Dogs. <laughs> Because, you know, we also supported a local brewery. Her friends own a brewery. It's called Man Antler. And uh, we really supported that brewery. Because that's where the show was and that's what you do. Okay, I need, I need to get some coffee and some bacon. Probably. Yeah. So, yeah, we went out and supported a local brewery and a couple local bands, and that's, that's fine and well. The problem is that today I have to drive about three hours away I gotta stop off halfway through and pick up equipment and then drive another hour and a half and uh, and set up and run a show, an Elton John tribute show. And that's also okay. It's just here's the real issue is that I have to do it on a console that I've never touched before in my life. It's on the X32 console. They're all pretty much the same digital live board, sound boards, but... Uh, It'll be interesting to see what happens, so let's go. just sitting here editing the video and I realize that the whole like montage fast forwardy thing through the setup really kind of undermines just how much work goes into setting up a live show. Now it is a labor of love, no doubt, especially when the tech that's helping you is good at what he does. This time I had Patrick helping me and uh, Patrick's a super good tech, super hard worker and so it makes it easy and he's easy to get along with and that's, that's huge in this industry, right? It's a people driven industry. I'm just saying that when you wake up in the morning and you feel like uh, a baby piglet or something and you can like you have to like peel your eyelids off of your eyes and you can hardly see and you're all like shivery and fresh and pink and like you're just trying to get used to the world. It makes it a tough it makes it a long day for sure. But if you're looking to get into this industry, you have to love it because it's never going to go the way you plan it to go. And you just have to love the challenges that come up. Whether it's self-inflicted or otherwise, there's, every show has like this one one or two things that, uh, that, that could go wrong about it. And uh, you just have to love that challenge. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, chill computer guy, you're asking what uh, lapel mics I use. This is them right here, dude. I, they're, they're like two bucks a piece on Amazon or something like that. I put a link down below for you. Um, and they sound like this. <laughs> but two bucks a piece, you can't really go wrong, man. All right, back to the video, back to the thing.
Okay, so now we're at the point where the audience has all filled in their seats, they're sitting there with their beer and they're getting loaded and the lights go down and the band gets on the stage and so for me, the sound guy, it's time for me to start unmuting all the monitors, unmute the, the PA system, do any final checks, you know, kind of look around. Then I'm pressing the unmute buttons and they're not doing anything and I'm starting to freak out like, holy crap, what have I done? And I'm, I'm just flipping through pages, freaking out like, how am I going to get this unmuted? And I know the countdown is on, like the band's about to hit their first chord and, uh, and these things are going to all be muted and then I'm going to get fired and never work in this industry again. So I'm freaking out, flipping through pages and I realized that I had locked the console just in case somebody had walked around, walked around and played with it or anything like that. So just at the last second, the band, the band's about to step up and play their first chord. I find the unlock button and I go and I unmute everything and then bam. The band plays and everything goes just fine and nobody even noticed but my heart was just like brrr, like beating six million times a second but everything went great the band loved it they were super happy they sounded great the room sounded good the audience was happy there was no complaints and uh and in the end the x32 console was actually a pretty easy console to work actually it was one of the easiest consoles i've ever used it was just such a relief that everything had gone well and uh and i was proud of myself because i'd i done it on this x32 console and the audience was happy the band was super happy um, I was proud of Patrick he, he was working he was doing the lighting and the lighting looked amazing so now it's time to strike all the gear and if you had set up properly then uh, striking is really a fast process we we say it's all about the out so you're setting up your your cases so that they're ready to go as soon as the show is over you know where every case is and you can plop everything in its case and wheel it over to the loading bay and then you're out of there in record time so I got home this morning probably around 2 30 in the morning and uh and that was it i made it i survived the x32 console was amazing patrick amazing the show went great i'm super happy about everything and uh and that's it what more is there to say so uh so vlog is over i'm out of here i know it was a short one but what can you do that's just that's how it goes okay kids we'll see you in the next one ciao